Cloning and Star Wars. I think it's funny. You have like the prequels where it just gets introduced big time. You've got the clone troopers. And then you get the original trilogy where clones aren't really there at all. Mm -hmm. Obviously in the extended universe, they do play around with cloning and legends and that kind of stuff. But in terms of their movies, there's not anything there until we get to the sequels. And then we find out that Snoke was a clone and Palpatine was a clone and all of the things are clones. Yeah. <laughs> and then in the Mandoverse, it like picks back up. Now we've got the whole idea of Baby Yoda. Why he was found is because he was being experimented on in a ways to clone force abilities. Mm. Like that's the whole thing and that's mm -hmm. definitely something in Legends that we see a lot of is Palpatine exploring ways to clone and incorporate force into his clones. Yeah. And then we get into Mandalorian and we see Moff Gideon doing the same thing of trying to create his own clone army of himself and give himself the ability in the backup and that that's separate from what we see in terms of the sequels trilogy with the idea of clones and Palpatine. And then we see more clones <laughs> in Bad Batch. Yeah. And I kind of think that Bad Batch is answering moral side of things mm. and the discussions that are never had. <laughs> they seem to be talking more about it instead of just using it conveniently. And I really, really appreciate what Bad Batch is doing with clones. Mm -hmm. They're starting to ask, what are the repercussions of this? Yeah. Was this a good thing? And <laughs> I mean, we get the first hints of clones, of course, with the prequel trilogy. And no one blinks an eye. Like, everyone's just like, okay, cool. And also, use them as cannon fodder. Like, okay, the Jedi Council didn't think twice about this. Mm -hmm. They weren't like, huh, maybe this is inhumane. Uh-huh. Is this wasting <laughs> human life and potential? They obviously have free will, mm -hmm. so that makes them valid human beings. Mm -hmm. Does the fact of them being created in a factory change that? Right. Those are the questions that the Bad Batch is asking. Mm. Why did it take this long for us to start asking those questions? Like, wait a second. <laughs> the clones are... What? It's like all of a sudden we're getting tons of clone stories now. Uh huh. It's and like all anyone's talking about in Star Wars, it seems like. Mm -hmm. Like everything is bringing clones in. 200,000 units are ready with a million more well on the way. I think it's to fill in the gaps to make it more believable that Palpatine would be returning. Somehow Palpatine returned. No! God! No! God! Please, no! I feel like that's mm -hmm. ultimately what we're seeing when we look at the clones is like, okay, yes, they're playing with these ideas. Yes. Yes, the clone troopers are a thing. Yes, someone like Moff Gideon is playing around with it, so it's more accessible than it was in the past. Yes, we're incorporating some of the things with the Bad Batch crew. And what we learned with Clone Force 99 of, mm. yes, you can clone specific things into these people right. to have different skill sets and have uh, clones that fit certain purposes. What if we did that with a human, but only chose the best qualities of multiple humans to create a clone of one person? And that's what Palpatine was playing around with. I feel like that's why we're seeing a lot of clones. I feel like yeah. the Mandoverse is playing around with this sandbox. Like they're building all these little sculptures all around, but they know that they're gonna have to get torn down because a castle's gonna have to be built at some point. Yeah. I'm frustrated that we have to go back and justify mm -hmm. the stupidity the, of the, oh Palpatine's back. Just the, no! Them bringing Palpatine back, mm. like ugh, that just felt like such a cheap way of getting well, they had a the bad guy back. Person you know? and Snoke. Yeah, why didn't they do more with him? Mm -hmm. Honestly, if they just stuck with him, made him decent, made him yeah. actually a little fearsome. And didn't die in the second movie. And didn't die in the second movie. <laughs> that would have actually been interesting. And honestly, I totally forget about Snoke all the time. Yeah, this which is a shame because I think he was so well acted mm -hmm. by Andy Serkis. Yeah, I think he could have been really, really good. Mm -hmm. Skywalker, <laughs> I assumed. And honestly, it would have been even more interesting if they did kill Snoke and that he came back better. Yeah. Because he was still like working on his formula. Yeah. And, like continuing like, that. That would have been fascinating. That would have been cool. That would have been way more interesting and way more character building. And, and yeah. building of that universe of mm -hmm. like, hey, we've got Snoke. He died. But we now found out that Snoke was a clone. Mm -hmm. We see it in Moff Gideon's space of like the different iterations of the clones. Mm -hmm. Like what if we saw the 
ultimate Snoke. Right. Where he was this massive force and this massive, like, evil in the galaxy mm-hmm. that's making himself better with each version. He could have been this mad scientist. Mm-hmm. The true Snoke is actually behind the veil, yeah. creating more little Snokes can... to make sure that his lineage lasts. You yeah. know, like, that would have been interesting. And what does it mean for the force if you can imbue it into anyone or mm. this living, non living thing of a clone? Yeah. Like, what does that mean for the galaxy if you can have ultimate control of this huge force, this massive power, mm-hmm. and this weapon that they're trying to utilize to achieve their own goals? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The force is a weapon. As it much is. as it is a tool, it's a weapon as well. I think it's definitely crafted through the dark side as a weapon. What if there was a new bad guy? Forget Palpatine. Let him rest, please. And Just let the dead die. Yeah. <laughs> and what if it was this extremely powerful distilling of the force that made this very ethereal force? <laughs> yeah. I think that's, something. that was the strength of Snoke. And I think that's mm. what they were trying to go towards. But ended up having to switch mm-hmm. most of the way through. Yeah. 